sir. Sir. Calm down. So yeah. Anyway. What's up guys? So I'm here. Playing Feed the Beast. Now this is going to be my introduction video. Uh, showing out the house and everything. Um, already recorded another video of No Rich Who, the server owner and I running around Twilight Forest and such. But uh, I figured it customary to do a um, introduction video first. So anyway, this is the old abode. I have done quite a lot of work. I had, you know, did the bad thing and just worked so many hours and without recording. But I'm at a very comfortable state right now. I've got a really good house. Um, all four walls and a roof. For the longest time, I didn't even have those. And, uh, yeah. Uh, good power running and everything. Um, it's currently nighttime, so I'm going to try to sleep through it. Here are the Twilight Forest trophies. But, yeah. Let's do this quick and walk you through the place. Alright, so, yeah. Just got a safe with a lot of the goodies in it. Um, again, Twilight Forest got like that kind of stuff. Pretty much have enough for like a full set of steel leaf just cause. I think it looks really cool. Of course, chums and diamonds and all that other kind of cool stuff and fiery blood. We did fight the Naga or Hydra, a Hydra, I should say, but I lost all the footage so. You could probably see that on Nolly's channel. But here's the basic crafting area. I've gone full thermal expansion. Um, you know, with the pulverizers and then induction smelter, magma crucible, etc. And then uh, just all the stuff, kind of decoration blocks and tools, miscellaneous uh, machines and redstone blocks, uh, ores and, well not ores, useful mineables, I guess, blocks, or uh, ingots and some dust and such, and then um, unrefined ores. And then just, I do have an upstairs, but I haven't gotten use for it. Um, I have my MFE down there, and I'm going to run up here for the few... Um, EU machines I'm going to need, and then I have space in this wall, take a peek, for more um, MV machines. And then, you may be asking, where am I getting all this power? Well, after a lot of work, I figured out how to convert Blutricity into EU and MV. And I will do a quick tutorial on that. Um, but yeah, I've just got some solar panels, still steadily building those up. And that just runs down to this monster on screen. Ooh, hey buddy, what are you doing? Ooh, and he gave me a cat. It's cute. Um, yeah, so just got that, all my panels running to these uh, Blutricity engines, which are feeding into a redstone energy cell, which converts that into MJ. And then I usually just have that running at 5, and it broke again. But that is running to all of my machines up there, and then it is also running to this magma crucible, which I probably could take out this magmatic engine. But it's running there, and it's slowly converting all of that into EU with a geothermal generator. And then... Um, I was running on coal coke, and even before that, just regular coal for the longest time. But, that's that. Um, I'm probably going to hook up some um, thermal piles up to this, so it'll work well at night too. And then, probably of course, set up more uh, geothermals, so I have a steady source of EU running also. But uh, that's just a very good um, path to take, in my opinion, as at least we're running on the Minecraft pack, and uh, industrial craft solar panels are wicked expensive. It's just, it's scary ridiculous. It's 
so that nope I need to clean that out um, but yeah the those solar panels are just way too expensive and uh, this works perfectly fine for now um, in the setup I have uh, in my the test I made um, it can comfortably power 16 machines and three uh, crucibles for your geothermal generator and that's um, really the house don't have much else going on um, up there I had Nolly found me found a node so I'm gonna start on Thomcraft um, and then it's not really much else um, this was Kata's or toast as we affectionately call him that was his old house this is Smalls' house, who is the uh, the novice of the server, pretty much. But she's learning pretty fast, I guess. And yeah, um, other than the Thomcraft, I'm definitely going to get into bees, which seems to be the hot topic that everyone loves. Um, mainly because I got like swamp over there, and actually that's quite it. But uh, I think it would be a pretty good spot for it. Just uh, make a little hut and kind of things over here. And yeah, that's really it. Um, of course, I've just been doing the usual work around here. Mining about. I've got uh, a few turtle holes. I've been running them about making uh, mini quarries. Although... Um, until now, I didn't know that they dig straight to bedrock if they have enough fuel. So, um, I've just been having them dig holes here and there. But, um, with those at least, I don't think I'll ever, um, have a proper quarry set up. Because that itself is very expensive, and there is a low disk space, uh, Notification just popped up, so I definitely should finish this off as um, we made, I think, a hundred gig of video before, and the video is running right now. So, um, that's going to be it. Uh, this is Swim again. Talk to you guys later. Bye.